The Quadra of Cherry Audio is an impressive VST plugin emulating the ARP Quadra. They created a virtual instrument that resembles the original ARP with really great sounds and presets for a very low price, so stay tuned. First let me ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you subscribe, we will keep you updated on all the great software and hardware we review. The Quadra of Cherry Audio is a virtual synthesizer plugin that is inspired by the famous ARP Quadra synthesizer which was released in 1978. This virtual version holds many aspects of the original, but they also wildly expanded it with some great features. The plugin can be bought at the Cherry Audio website for a price of just $39. It's available for Windows and Mac, 64-bit and comes as an AU, VST, VST3, AAX and also standalone. The Windows installer comes as an EXE file where you can select which version you want to install. For Windows you can choose the standalone version, VST, VST3 and the AAX version for Pro Tools. If you choose the VSD version, you will be asked in which folder you want the VSD to be installed. The VSD3 will always be installed in the same place, so that folder is not asked by the installer. And if you have selected the standalone version, it also asks in which folder you want to install that. Finally, the installation is done and then you can start up your DRW. We use Cubase Elements for this. After we start our DRW, we can either drag a Quadra or a Quadra with multi-outputs to our track. Using it for the first time, we'll install some more stuff from the website and then we are good to go. The graphical user interface really looks like the old ARP Quadra, but it has a lot more to offer. So let's have a look at how we can control this fantastic beast. Totally at the top, you will find the presets which are around 400 at the time of this test. You can search in these presets or click on a type of preset you are looking for, like a lead or a pad or arpeggio style presets. If you for instance choose the arpeggio, you can scroll through all these presets by clicking on the left and right arrow. Also here you can create a new preset by saving the changes into a new version. Also at the top row you can change some settings, the zoom vector, MIDI Learn is available for all the controls, a panic button when a note is stuck somehow, an online keyboard to play the synthesizer when you have no MIDI, and the oversampling quality can be set, and the question mark brings you to the online manual for this instrument. Below that we see the four instrument sections and the output mixer. In the mixer you can turn any of the four parts on by moving the slider. If you want to disable that part, like when you want to check something without that sound, you can just click on the little name above it. At the left we see the bass, which has electric bass and strings bass. Both of a 16 and 8 foot pitch, but you can also go an extra octave up or down. You can set the range of the sound, so it will only play on a certain part of your keyboard. You can even let it learn this by selecting the lower and upper key on your MIDI keyboard. You can set the decay and the resonance of the electric bass and the strings bass sound is controlled by the strings section. So at the strings you can choose between a normal string waveform or a hollow one. You can change the attack and release time and a small filter to add some more bass or high end to the string sound. This offers 8 and 4 foot pitch with also the possibility to go another octave up or down. Next we see the polyphonic synthesizer which has its own cutoff and resonance filter, an ADSR, 16, 8 and 4 foot selectors and the waveform button that lets you scroll through different waveforms by clicking on it. When it is set to the square waveform you can also use the pulse width sliders and the modulation button for this. Next we see the mixer and the LFO below it with different waveforms, sample and hold etc. And it can also sync to the tempo of your audio workstation. At the end of the first row we see the monophonic lead synthesizer, which has two oscillators with several waveforms that can be tuned independently and both have a portamento. 
You can set the note priority to the low note, the high note or the last note played. And of course the filter and envelope generator. And also here you can see the range that can be set for this sound on your keyboard. The bottom row holds the bender section where you can control the pitch and some filters of the four parts, a touch sensor section and the effects, phase shifter, chorus flanger, echo and reverb. At every effect you can select which of the four parts will be sent to this effect. And we see the arpeggiator that can be used with the lead synthesizer. It can go up or down or up and down and also random for one to three octaves. And also here you can sync with the tempo of your audio workstation. At the end we see the master tuning and volume. And the little stripes on the right bottom corner tell you that this instrument can be scaled just by dragging this corner. Well that's all the features in a nutshell, but you might want to hear this virtual quadra. The suggested retail price will be $59, but there is a special minimum advertised price of $39, which is really a bargain for this great virtual instrument. There will be a free 30 day demo of quadra available. This demo will play white noise periodically, but it's otherwise unlimited. So a good reason to try this great instrument. Now let me play some of the sounds. More information and links to the Quadra of Cherry Audio can be found below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, so we can keep you updated on all the great software we review. Now play. Thank you.